everybody thank you guys for joining me today in this video i'm going to be sharing um tips on how to have a devotion with god and if you really want to improve your relationship with god this year in 2022 then keep watching right um the first thing that i want you to understand is god is uh god is not just an invisible and the useless God he is a person and he also wants to be he also wants to be communicated to it's just like for example let's say you are in a relationship with a particular individual and you guys are sleeping together in the same room if your partner just woke up and never said hi how are you and they just leave the door you'll be personally offended right because you're like bro you and I are in a relationship, but please say hi to me in the morning. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of the same thing with God. If you really um, are in a place where you want to develop your relationship with God, the first thing you, have to, you need to acknowledge that God is God and he's a person and he wants to be communicated to. Um, there's a quote that I heard some other person say that before you meet people outside, meet with God first. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to be intentional about the fact that God is God and he also needs to be communicated. The to. second tip for you to uh, begin to have a devotional with God is you have to stay consistent. It's not always about being motivated all the time because sometimes you're not always motivated to get your Bible. It's the fact that you have discipline and you have the mot the discipline and consistent to pick up your Bible each and every day and continue reading it in the morning before you go somewhere else. So just remember that sometimes you're not always motivated because maybe you woke up tired or you woke up not feeling like not not feeling it. Um, but it's so important for us to continue doing this thing so that our relationship with God can begin to be better. Three, the thing that you need to do when you are about to have a devotional with God is pray first. Pray first and ask the Holy Spirit to come and give you revelation. Ask the Holy Spirit to come and show you things that with, with when you are in the flesh, you might not be able to see them. But the moment you are in the Spirit, you can begin to see them because the Holy Spirit is showing you stuff. So it's good to pray before you read the Bible each and every day so that you can have revelation that has been revealed by the Holy Spirit. Oh. Tell God everything that you need to tell Him. Um, either in a devotion or, or you writing, yeah, just having a journal and writing down your thoughts, right? After so praying and before you read the Bible, make sure that you pour out your heart to God so that you're not distracted by your emotions and your, your stresses, your worries or all your things that or the things that are going on in your mind that are currently worrying you. Just take a pen and a book and just write down and say, God, um, this is what I'm feeling right now. This is what happened to me yesterday. And God will begin to speak to you, knowing that all those things are clear. Because sometimes we can't hear God because we're so distracted by our stresses, our worries, our anxiousness, and all those things. So before you, you read the Bible, it's good to pour out your heart to God so that God can begin to pour into you. Because if your cup is full of worries, God can't pour into you because it's already full but when you empty your cup out god can pour into you because now this is him pouring into you okay fifth tip this is the one that my mother told me to do um especially in the mornings it's read the book of proverbs each and every day so for example if today is the first of whatever month you read proverbs one like just like today today is the 9th of february so that means in the morning you read 9th of february tomorrow is going to be the 10th you read the 10th um proverbs 10. the following day is going to be the the other day is going to be the 11th of february you're going to read proverbs 11 just each and every day you read the proverbs of the day and that is another way that can Another um, way you can continue to develop your personal relationship with God by having a devotion with Him. Number six, the other thing that you can do is to take time to listen to God's voice. After reading the Bible, just take time for some five more minutes and just to listen and say, Holy Spirit, I am here. Speak to me. I am listening because listening is also part of um, 
growing a relationship with someone if i'm in a relationship with if a guy and i'm always talking all the time i'm always telling him i don't like you i like you did this you did this you did this you did that but i don't take time to listen to him that that is not a a, a good uh, relationship it's not like a dialogue where the person can talk and you listen it's just like a monologue so sometimes it's good as, for us christians to have a dialogue with god where we're not just talking 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 all the time you can also listen to God's voice. Number seven. This is the last one that you can do. After having a devotion, then you can go and do all the other things you need to do. But throughout the day, continue to be in constant communication with God. Don't say, right, um, I'm tired now. I'll see God some other time. No, just continue talking to him throughout the day. If you are doing your, in your meetings, you're at school, you're in college, you're in business, continue to say, hello, God, I'm here. How are you today? And things like that. In that way, your relationship with God will continue to grow and become better. So, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope it blessed you just like it has blessed me. I am also on a journey to um, develop my relationship with God. Where I want it to be stronger. You know what I'm saying? So, thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.